Similar to start and end constraints, guide curves allow you to control the behavior of a loft between profiles. Let's take the simple loft and add guide curves to change the way the profiles connect. As you can see, I already have some sketches created that I'll be using as guide curves. Although I'm using 2D sketches here, you can use several items as guide curves, including existing model edges, 3D sketches, and curves. I'll begin by editing the loft feature and expanding the section labeled Guide Curves. I'll select the arc as a guide curve, and immediately you will see the preview update. Notice the only edge affected by the curve is the purple one. The other edges remain as they were before. There is a reason for this. When you use guide curves, you have to tell SolidWorks what the guide curve should control. You do this by choosing an option from the guide curves influence list in the property manager. Currently, to next sharp is selected. This means that the guide curve is influencing the geometry from its location to the next sharp corner in the profile. Anything beyond the next sharp corner is left unchanged. If I change this setting to global, the entire model is affected by the guide curve. Next, let's add the other guide curve to the list. The guide curve influence selection will be applied to every curve on the list. So if I choose to next sharp again, only two of the edges are affected by the guide curves.